Su Hyun Park, the referee for this women's championship final. Ti Chow getting some last minute coaching from her corner. Meanwhile, Chang trying to get some jump in her step as we get set for the women's championship final here in the 67 kilogram division. scoring system good on both ends and we are just about set to go here for this gold medal championship both these ladies have already qualified for the Taiwan Grand Prix October 15th now it's just a matter of bragging rights and the gold medal and first kick lands from uh, Chang three nothing a spinning back kick no points awarded to teach out for that though. Chang continues to lead three to nothing. Spinning back kick attempted again. It only catches the arm and something is wrong here. Chang, I think, may have lost a contact lens. Indeed, Juan Chang lost a contact lens on that kick. Teach out did a spinning back kick. I think it caught the shoulder or maybe armpit of Chang, and it, while it didn't hit her head, it knocked the contact lens out of her eye. I don't think I've ever seen that before on a non-contact head kick. Oh, okay, there's why her hand came across her face afterwards. And that's, I think, where she lost the contact lens. <laughs> For a moment, I thought it may have been from the impact of the kick, but I think it, it probably was from the hand that kind of swiped her face clearly unintentionally afterwards. And there's another spinning back kick that just gets shoulder. Another spinning back kick! That caught the chest! The impact did not register, but the spinning back kick by Teachout, I thought that caught her square in the chest, perhaps just not hard enough. Both these fighters are showing that they want to win this match. Both very aggressive and with explosive bursts. Chang coming in for a punch, that did not register. Three to nothing, Chang continues to lead. Chang on the outer edge, now Teach out pushing her away. The head kick did not count. I thought that was close. She goes for a punch that did not register either. It is still Chang leading three to nothing with 53 seconds left. Referee comes in to break them apart. Both of them look a little bit tired after both being very aggressive early on. Spinning back kick again. Teach out couldn't get the leg. Oh, the head kick! That one registers for three! She's dragged to the mat. I don't know if that will count. Okay, yeah, it does not as the come jump, but what a head kick by Teach out. 3 3. We are tied with 36 seconds to go. Oh, a spinning back kick does not register. We remain 3 3. Oh, a head kick. How did that not count for Chang? And immediately they call for a replay will be given. Chang's foot was kind of hanging up around the chest area. And at the last moment, she kind of lunged it up towards the chin of Teach Out. The points did not count. But that's why they're going to review this. Watch how Chang's foot, okay, she kind of keeps it in the chest. Teach Out has it in control. The only question becomes now, was it blocked by the hand? No, I, okay, yeah, I think foot clearly does get chin there. The only thing you could have argued would have been if the foot because Teachout's hand is there blocking, but the power of Chang thrusting the foot through the hand block. Look at Teachout has two hands there to block that foot, but it doesn't matter. Chang just powers that foot through. And 
the review is good. So Chang receives her review card back. Three points is added to her total, and it's six to three with 22 seconds left to go. Tito trying to get in. Chang using her right leg as defense more than anything. Tito trying to attack. 11 seconds to go. Spinning back kick misses. What an attempt. Great defense by Chang. Seven seconds to go. Chang just staying away now. Tito in desperation mode. Lunges. Can't get anything in. And with a second and a half left, come jump to make it six to four. And this should be it. Come jump to teach out for falling. And the first round goes to Chang, seven to four. What a first round that was. Chang landing the first blow, Teach out with a magnificent head kick, and then Chang with the deciding head kick that she thrusts through two hands defending it. There's the big kick by Teach out to even the score 3-3, but this is the winning kick that Chang thrusts through the two hands of Teach Out defending. Teach Out just thinking that this is good enough. She underestimates the power of Chang and pays the price. <laughs> so Chang wins round one. Seven to four, and we are now set for round two. Must win round for Teach Out. Chang with a cushion. Both fighters attacking with their right legs. Teach Out being very aggressive. She's got some energy back in her step, but Chang ties her up. Teach Out very aggressive. Can't get anything in though. Great defense by Chang again. Ticho does a good job of conserve, 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 explode energy. Chang does a good job of defending. Oh, did that leg, leg kick count? Chang picks up three for a leg kick to the head. Three nothing. Ticho with the lead. Both fighters being passive, perhaps preserving their energy. Chang goes down. She looks hurt. Chang looks hurt right now. Something is wrong. Chang is very slow to get up. And the referee is saying, let's go. No sympathy whatsoever to Chang right now. And Teach Out receives a pump jump for pushing Chang out of bounds. So 3-1, now the score in favor of Teach Out. Chang waving for a replay, and her coach sees it now. And we will have a video replay to see if Chang connected. The one thing I'll say, is even if Chang does not receive points on this head kick, the one advantage it might preserve is that Chang clearly did not appear ready to go when she went down to the ground. She looked like she wanted some sort of a medical rest that she was not given, and because of that, she may have been fatigued or needed a little bit more of a rest. Two different attempts there by Chang to the head of Teach Out. On video review, I don't see either of those landing. This one, you would see the chin strap or the chin move, but it doesn't appear to be the case on that attempt. So in my opinion, by looking at that review, I don't believe that the points will be awarded to Chang. Of course, the video replay officials can see it differently.
there certainly was a video review earlier that I felt I disagreed with, but this time the video officials and I are thinking along the same lines, and this remains 3-1 in favor of Teachout. Under a minute to go. Good defense and blocking by Teachout on the right leg attack by Chang. Chang continues to try to attack with the right leg. Teachout continues to block. Teachout on the attack now. Going for the body on the right leg, tied up by Chang. Teachout, aggressive spinning back kick. That misses high. She pushes Chang out. Chang stays in. And we continue. 35 seconds remaining. Teachout on the attack. A leg kick. And that one hits the head as she gets it just high enough. 6 1. Teachout leading. 26 le seconds left. Chang looks exhausted. Chang does not have the energy that she had coming into this round. Spinning back kick attempted, and Ticho co continues on the head kick. Looked like it landed there. The only question was, did the referee stop it before that? She gets Kamchum for going out. It looks like Point will not be rewarded for the head kick, however. 10 to 1, 10 seconds left. Ticho being aggressive, going for the head again. That is not going to score. Five seconds left. Ticho probably doesn't need to attack here, and I don't think she's going to. Time expires. Ticho takes the round. Ten to one. Ticho, remember, in her semifinal match against Tanya Su, Lost the first round, barely 11 to 10, and then came back to win the second and third rounds, showing great resilience. And certainly in this round, once again, Teachout showing her strength and will to win. And she just bulldozes Chan to the ground here. This is that moment that I was saying Chan looked like she wanted more time with perhaps an injury timeout of sorts. But in the end, teach out a dominant round for her as she took, takes that 10 to one. So we go to this third and deciding round. This is going to be an absolute battle. Teach out an aggressive lunge. No points as Chang ties her up. Ticho going for the punch. Oh, the back hook kick did that land. No. Chang going out of bounds receives a cup jump. So now it's Ticho leading one to nothing. Chang going out of bounds again. Head kick. Two points. Twice landing. Six nothing in favor of Ticho. Ticho trying to push and then gets the head kick in again. Nine nothing for Teachout. Teachout pushing again. And the aggressive push of Teachout now is going to receive a cup jump. She receives a penalty for pushing out. Nine won the score. She's been taking advantage of those. The second body kick there didn't register, so Ticho nine to one. Chang needs to do something here because she's being dominated right now. Teachout's will to win is just much more superior right now to Chang. Chang has got to answer Teachout's aggression. Cup jump for no challenging that call. In fairness, Ticho has been pushing a lot, and she's been using that aggression to her advantage while pushing, catching her opponent off balance, see the push there, and then using that opportunity to get a kick in. Chang, however, just seems absolutely exhausted, 
and her will to compete just doesn't seem to be there. Perhaps part of that could be the frustration of Tito just pushing and keeping her off balance. But regardless, Chang has got to figure out a way to counter this because right now Tito is just having her way with Chang. in the chest, the leg kick, and as she continues to push again, I think this right here is where the referee decides the cup jump for pushing, but the official, the video review official, agrees with the American coach, and the cup jump will be removed, and also... The review card is returned to the American coach. The American coach is continuing to speak to Teach Out, saying be careful not to get too many come jumps because that could be a strategy of Chang. The rest for Chang, meanwhile, seems to have given her new life as she comes on the attack. Chang trying to be aggressive with Teach Out. Teach Out, the one backing down now, almost had a leg kick at the head. Chang aggressive, Teach Out backing up. They tie up. Teach Out lands a body kick. 12 to 1, 51 seconds left. Cup jump for pulling against Chang. So now 13 to 1 for Teach Out. Teach Out on the aggressive. Oh, spinning back and just misses. Chang had to be quick to avoid that one. And as she goes out of bounds, again, a cup jump against Chang. That is her fourth cup jump. And Teach Out pushes again. Cup jump again. That is the fifth cup jump against Chang. And because of that, she has lost the round. And what a way for Teach Out to win through the cup jump, although Teach Out certainly was winning on the scoreboard by a lot, and Chang seemed to have had no answers for her aggression whatsoever. Chang just seemed a little bit more fatigued, especially in the latter part of the second round and certainly the third round, whereas, yeah, Teach Out's aggression I, I hate to put it any other way other than Teach Out just seemed to have wanted to win that more than Chang. And in the end, I think that seemed to shine through. Teach Out conserving energy when she needed to and then bursting with power when she needed to. She clearly had more energy of the two, and I think it was through the moments of conserving energy at the right time. And Chang just didn't have an answer for that burst of power that Teach Out would come with. So that ends the women's 80 kilogram 